Hi right, guys, so here's the ST170 engined RS2000 Mark II Escort. Most of the conversion parts here are retro Ford parts. This was built a long time ago, but it's gotten through many modifications since then and up, always upgrades. Um, so now, you know, running about 240 horsepower, pistons, rods, headwork, cams. Um, it's been we've been doing track days in this car for a long time, starting with a Pinto, but now up to the the, the 2.1 uh, SD170. And the gearbox we used to run here was the the Tranex Type 9, um, which was a good gearbox. But now we're upgrading to the um, Quaife Sequential, and we're going from a cable clutch to hydraulic clutch. So this is the new uh, hydraulic reservoir there, the Tilton, and for the, for the front and rear brakes and for the clutch. Here's the Quaife 60G sequential, and by all means a, a good gearbox. From what we heard, we actually bought this gearbox from Motorsport Tools themselves. They have used it in their car. Uh, six speed sequential, and obviously with the sequential you've got to run a flat shift um, to make the experience the best it can be. So we, we're using a Geartronics uh, ECU for that. And that's the Retro Ford uh, release bearing there for the clutch, hydraulic. That actually took a lot of working out measuring to get the right distance between the clutch and the gearbox with the spacers before we could fit that. So the next job for us was to install the gearbox just to mock it up, make sure everything's okay. We actually use the standard gearbox tunnel. We haven't uh, used a big gearbox tunnel on this, but we are using a ready-made plate that um, does allow some clearance specifically for the 60G gearbox. So you can see there, the plate all welded in. Then the gearbox went back into the car with a few other things like the new handbrake there, new upright handbrake and the new black centre console. That all went in just to be mocked up. So to make sure everything's in the right place. Then come out again, everything got painted and then got refitted and hopefully it was all in the right place then. Also we made a gearbox mount at the back of the gearbox that mounted to the original fittings that were there. Some parts we used from what came with the gearbox and some parts we used from our own. Also we changed from a single piece standard RS2000 prop shaft to a two piece. Then the almost finished article with the carbon fibre upright handbrake and the black gear knob and the black centre console. I think it ties in really well. Obviously a bit of a change from what was in there before. So I think it looks really nice, really clean. Then the only thing to do was after that was the first start. As you can hear from that, it sounds very loud, very rattly and very much like a race car. Not so good for the road, but that's not the point. While we had the car in the garage, we upgraded the discs. Um, the disc needed replacing, so we went for a slightly bigger size and we went for the J-hook style, which, is, which just looks really nice. Then the bit we'd all been waiting for, which was the first road test. Yep, 
you can see now it's a <laughs> real animal it's uh, good fun to drive on the road uh, but it's better on track as well it's more suited to that um, I will be uploading some in-car footage from the RS Owners Club National Day track day at Donington so look out for that one and uh, thanks for watching this video